Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 2 Lesson 5 homework, and this is the last lesson of Grade 4 Module 2. So let's get started. Model each problem with a tape diagram, solve an answer with a statement. Alright, so number one. The capacity of Jose's vase is 2,419 millime milliliters of water. He poured one liter, 299 milliliters of water into the empty vase. Then he added 398 milliliters. How much more water will the vase hold? All right, so let's draw a tape diagram. So the capacity is like the maximum amount of water something can hold. So the capacity of this vase would be 2,419. And we know that Jose, he poured um, about 1 liter, 299 milliliters, that's 1,299. And then after that, he added 398. So we want to find out how much more water can it hold before it reaches the maximum amount. So what we do is first find out how, many he, how much water he added. So 1,299 plus 398. Nine plus eight is 17. Nine plus nine is 18 plus one is 19. Two plus three is five plus one is six and one. We just leave it with one. So 1,697 is how much water he added. So now we um, do 2,419 minus 1,697. 9 minus 7 is 2, 1 minus 9, 5, 10, 11 minus 9 is 2, um, 3 minus 6, 5, 10, 13 minus 6 is 7, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So our answer is 722. You can box that. So that means the vase yeah, can hold... 722 more milliliters. All right, number two, Eric biked one kilometer, um, 125 meters on Monday. On Tuesday, he biked 375 meters less than on Monday. How far did he bike on both days? All right, so Monday, and for Monday, Eric biked one kilometer, 125 meters, which is 1,125 meters. On Tuesday, he biked um, 375 meters less. So, so this much is 375. So we want to find out how much he biked on Tuesday. And then we have to find out how much did he bike on both days. Let's first find, let's first find out how much he biked on Tuesday. So we have 1,125 minus 375 because on Tuesday he biked 375 meters less. 5 minus 5 is 0. 2 minus 7 bar 10. 12 minus 7 is 5. 0 minus 3 bar 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. Um, and 0, that's 0. So 750. He biked 750 meters on Tuesday. Well, then how many meters did he bike both days? 1,125 plus 750. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. And 1 is 1. 1,875. Mm, you can box that too. So Eric bite 1,875 meters both days. Alright, and number three, Zachary weighs 37 kilograms, 95 grams. Gabe weighs 4,650 grams less than Zachary. Harry weighs 2,905 grams less than Gabe. How much does Harry weigh? Let's start with Zachary. Zachary, Z for Zachary, weighs um, 37,095 grams. He has times a thousand. And Gabe, G for Gabe, weighs, we don't know how much he weighs, but we do know 
he weighs no, 4,650 grams less than Zachary. And then Henry, age for Henry, weighs, we don't know how, how much Henry weighs either, but we know he weighs 2,905 grams less than Gabe. How much does Harry weigh? We have to first find out how much Gabe weighs. So 37,095 minus 4,650. Five minus zero is five. Nine minus five is four. Zero minus six bar 10. 10 minus six is four. Six minus four is two and three is three. So our answer is 32,445. But now we have to find out how much Harry weighs. So now we know how much Gabe weighs. That's 32,445 minus 2,905. Five minus zero is um, zero. Four minus zero is four. Four minus nine borrowed 10. 14 minus nine is five. And one minus two borrowed 10. 11 minus two is nine. And then two, just leave us two. So 29,540, that means Harry weighs 29,540 grams. All right, next page. Number four, a Springer Spaniel weighs 20 kilograms, 490 grams. A Cocker Spaniel weighs 7,590 grams less than a Springer Spaniel. A Newfoundland weighs 52 kilograms, 656 grams more than a Cocker Spaniel. What is the difference in grams between the weights of the Newfoundland and the Springer Spaniel? All right, so let's start with the Springer Spaniel. It weighs 20 kilograms, 490 grams, which is 20,490 grams. We know, okay, we can label it, and then we know our Cocker Spaniel weighs 7,000, we don't know how much it weighs, but we do know it weighs 7,590 grams less than the Springer Spaniel. But then the Newfoundland weighs 52 kilograms um, 656 grams more than a Cocker Spaniel. So we know it weighs at least as much as a Cocker Spaniel, but it just weighs 52,656 grams more. All right. We wanna find out how, what is the difference between the weight of the Newfoundland and the Springer Spaniel? So we wanna find out, like from here, we wanna find out how much this is. Pretty much. All right, so let's first find out um, how much the Cocker Spaniel weighs. So let's see, 20,490 minus 7,590. Zero minus zero is zero. Nine minus nine is zero. Oh, wait, yeah. 4 minus 5 borrowed 10. 14 minus 5 is um 9. 9 minus 7 is 2 and 1 is just 1. So I have 12,900. Um, That's how much the Cocker Spaniel weighs. But then Newfoundland weighs um that much, but then plus 52,656. 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 5 is 5, 9 plus 6 is um, 15, 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, and 1 plus 5 is 6. So our Newfoundland weighs 65,556 grams. Now this is what's the difference between the weights of the Newfoundland and the Springer Spaniel? Well, 65,556 minus 20,490. 6 minus 0 is 6, 5 minus 9 bar 10, 15 minus 9 is 6, 4 minus 4 is 0, 5 minus 0 is 5, and 6 minus 2 is 4. 45,066 means the 
Newfoundland weighs 45,066 grams more. All right, number five. Marsha has three rugs. The first rug is two meters, 87 centimeters long. The second rug has a length 97 centimeters less than the first. The third rug is 11 centimeters longer than the second rug. Um, what is the difference in centimeters between the length of the first rug and the third rug? All right, so let's start our first rug. It is 22 meters, 87 centimeters long, which is 287 centimeters. The second rug is, we don't know how much it is. Can we create one, two? We don't know how long it is, but we do know it is 98 centimeters less than the first. The third rug is at least as long as the second rug, but then it's 111 centimeters longer. So what's the difference between the first and the third? Well, first, let's find out how much the second one weighs. So we have 287 minus 98. 7 minus 8 bar 10. 17 minus 8 is 9. 7 minus 9 becomes 17 minus 9, which is 8 and 1. We just leave it down. Oh. So we have 189. That's how much the second rug weighs. Now the third rug, we know weighs more than the second rug, so we do 189 plus 111. 9 plus 1 is 10, 8 plus 2 is 10, and that's 3. So the third rug weighs 300. So how, what's the difference in length? Well, 300 minus 287, let's borrow 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So the difference would be 13 um, grams or centimeters. Right, the third rug is 13 centimeters longer. All right, and number six, one barrel held 60 liters, 868 milliliters of sap. A second barrel held 20,089 milliliters uh, more sap than the first. A third barrel holds, held 40 liters, 82 milliliters less sap than the second. The sap from the three barrels were poured into a larger container. How much sap would there be in all? Alright, so our first barrel. Um, 60 liters, 868 milliliters, 10,000, that's 60,000. 868 milliliters of sap. And the second barrel, um, we know it holds 20, it holds at least as much as the first sap, but then it, held, it holds 20,089 milliliters more than the first sap. Then the third barrel um, is We don't, have, we don't know how much it is, but we do know that it is 40 liters, 82 milliliters less than the second, which is 40,082. So how much sap is there in all? Well, let's first find how much sap is in the second. 60,868. This is just more sap in the second than we plus 20,089. 8 plus 9 is 17. 6 plus 8 is 14 plus 1 is 15. 8 plus 1 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 2. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So the second sap, there's 80,957 in all. Alright, and now the third sap, we have same number. 80,957. But then since there's less than the third barrel, or the third barrel, um, we subtract 40,082. Seven minus two is five. 
5 minus 8 borrowed 10, 15 minus 8 is 7, 8 minus 0 is 8, 0 minus 0 is 0, 8 minus 4 is 4. So 4,875 is how much is in the third set. But we're not done yet. The question asks, the question asks um, if we pour all of them into a container, how much sap would there be in all? So what's the total amount? Well, 60,868 plus 80,957 and then plus 40,875. 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 5 is 20. 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 7 is 18 plus 2 is 20. 8 plus 9 is 17 plus 8 is 26 plus 2 is 28. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. And 6 plus 8 is 14 but then plus 4 is 18. That means there would be 182,800 milliliters of sap. Right now. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.